The lesson topic for this video is factoring with magic number. Now obviously there's nothing magic about magic number, it is just math, but it's a way that we can say, hey remember you have to do magic number here, and you're like, oh right, I know what I need to do. So that's our goal and it's just a, a phrase that we use to help you remember what we're doing. So if you look at these two trinomials, okay, both of these are quadratic, three terms, x squared in there, what they're in is they're in ax squared plus bx plus c form, both of them, right? Yeah, nice x there, right you guys? ax squared plus bx plus c. They're both in that form, but the key difference um, for the way we do these two factoring problems is that in this case our a value is 1, which we've already learned how to factor, and in this case over here our a value is 2. So there is a difference in the way we're going to factor these. The one on the left, we're going to factor the way we've already done in class. So the first thing we do is we take this 3 out here, and we say, all right, what two numbers multiply together to give me 3? Well, 1 times 3, or it could be negative 1 times negative 3. Well, we want to get this um, number right here when we add the factors here. So we look for the factors that when we add them, we get positive 4. Well, 1 plus 3 is 4. So again, the way we do this is we leave our, uh, or we put our parentheses down, I should say, and then we put x in the front of each parentheses because x times x is x squared. And now we want to find out what do we put here and here that will factor this correctly. And those values are positive 1 and positive 3. And we got those from right here. If I were to FOIL this, I would get x squared, which goes right here, right here. And then we have 3x plus 1x, which is 4x, and then plus 3, which is right here. So we've done this before a couple different times this year, and that is how we factor when a is 1. Now when a is not 1, we are going to use a process called magic number. Some people call this the AC method because we are going to be starting the problem by looking at a and c. So A is right here, we already circled that, and C is this right here. So if I look at my A value, which is 2, and I look at my C value, which is negative 30, I'm actually going to multiply A and C to get what I call my magic number. So when I multiply A and C, um, I'm going to get negative 60, and then I'm actually going to include this X squared here as well, because if I multiply this whole thing here by this whole thing, I get negative 60x squared. So that's my magic number or my magic term, I suppose I should say, the magic term right there. We need to do exactly what we did over here, right here. Okay, we need to find out what factors multiply to give me negative 60x squared. Well, negative 1, because we know one of them has to be negative, so I always put that negative right there with the 1 just to make sure I have a negative 1. So negative 1x and 60x multiplies together to give me negative 60x squared, or negative 2x times 30x. Again, we're always going to just put an x with each of these terms. Notice that is negative 60x squared when you multiply it negative 3x times 20x. All we're doing here is we're taking mainly the negative 60, looking at the negative 60, dividing it by negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and those answers go here, and that gives us our factors. I'm going to keep going. We have negative 4x times 15x. Negative 5, it's also divisible by negative 5. Negative 5x times 12x. And lastly, it's also divisible by negative 60, or negative 6, excuse me, negative 6x. If we divide it, we get 10x. So again, negative 1 times 60, negative 2 times 30, negative 3 times 20, negative 4 times 15, negative 5 times 12, and negative 6 times 10. All of those multiply to give you negative 60, and then the x's give us x squared. So our job now our job now is to find 
So we need to find which of these factors adds up to positive 7x. So if you look down the row, we're looking at which ones of these adds up to 7. So that doesn't add up to 7, that doesn't add up to 7, that doesn't add up to 7, neither does that. What's negative 5 plus 12? Well, that's 7. So if you look at this right here, if you added these up, you get 7x. And look, we needed 7x right here. So different than the problem on the left over here, we do not just take these two numbers, we do not just take these and put them into parentheses. That will not work. So instead, what we do for magic number is we start by writing the first term, so 2x squared. So we're going to write this term down here. And then we're going to take the third term and we're going to write that over here. We're going to leave some nice space in the middle. So negative 30 or minus 30, whichever. Now in the middle, what we're going to do in the middle here is we're going to put this. We're just going to write exactly what we have right here. So we're going to write negative 5x plus 12x. Now what you'll notice is that if we think about this right here, this right here, if I combined it, would get us to this. So we haven't changed anything. This has been rewritten like this. Okay, so now what do we do next? Well, what we do next is we put a vertical line to separate these four terms into two groups of two terms. And we're going to always put that right after the second term. Okay, so right here, I'm going to put a vertical line in here. Okay, we want to make sure this plus sign stays on the right-hand side with this, and the x right here is going to stay over here. So our first term minus our second term, the line goes there, then plus our next term minus our next term. And now what we're going to do is we are actually going to factor each side of that purple line separately. So I'm going to factor out the GCF of this, and I'm going to factor out the GCF of this. That's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to factor out GCFs. So if you look at this right here, 2 and 5 don't have a common factor. We can't divide anything out. But this x squared and this x have a common factor of x. So I'm going to factor out an x, and then I have to say what's left. Well, what's left, if I have 2x squared and I factor out an x, is 2x. And then if I have negative 5x and I factor out an x, I'm left with negative 5. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing to the right-hand side of the purple line. I'm going to factor out the GCF of this. Now this time I don't have an x to factor out because the 30 doesn't have an x. But 12 and 30 are both divisible by the number 6. So we're going to use this plus sign always. It's going to come straight down. We're going to always, whatever that sign is, okay, we're going to put that plus down there. And then we know the GCF is 6. So we're going to factor out a 6. 12x, factor out a 6. We're left with 2x. And the minus, um, we didn't factor out the negative, so it's going to stay minus. And then 30, if I divide by 6, is 5. Or negative 30 divided by 6 is negative 5. Now when you do this, you will notice that we have two terms, okay, two terms. We have this term right here, it has two factors, x and 2x minus 5. This is a term being added to another term. And what you're going to see here is that our, our parentheses will always match. If you do the magic number work correctly, those will always match. Because they match, it means that the two terms have a common factor. This term and this term have a common factor that I underlined in yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and take that common factor of 2x minus 5, and I'm factoring it out of this whole statement here. If I do so, if I factor this out, what am I left with? I'm left with x. So I'm going to put that x right here. And then in this term right here, if I factor out this 2x minus 5 that's underlined in yellow, I'm left with plus 6. And now we are done. We have factored our trinomial. Okay, I know I walked through that pretty slow. It's almost 10 minute video already, but that is the process. Notice this x right here ends up going here. This positive 6 goes right here. 
and the two terms underlined or the two factors underlined in yellow is plopped out here. Okay, so let's factor using magic number. The first thing we're going to do, we notice that the number in front of x squared is not a 1, so that's why we have to use magic number here. So I'm going to circle my a and c terms. 3 times 14 is 42, so we need a magic number or magic term of 42x squared. Okay, so dividing 42 by a bunch of different factors, if I divide 42 by 1, so 1x, I get 42x. Oh, sorry about that, 42. Um, I can also divide 42 by 2, so 2x times 21x. 42 is also divisible by 3, so 3x multiply by 14. 3 times 14 is 42, so 3x times 14x. It's not divisible by 4 or 5. It is divisible by 6, 6x times 7x. So here are all my options. There is a limited number of options that you can use. Now, if we want to get negative 13x, notice the negative sign. This is important. In order for two numbers to add up to negative 13, we're going to need some negatives. So think about for a minute, we need to add up to 13, and right now we do have 6x plus 7x that adds up to 13, but we need it to add up to negative 13. Well, the good news is, is that if I multiply, or if I use both of these as negative... Okay, negative 6 times negative 7 is positive 42x squared, which is what we need. And if I add these, I get negative 13x, which is what we needed. So, do you remember what to do next? We're going to write our first term, 3x squared. And we're going to write our last term, plus 14, and leave a bunch of space in the middle. And now we are going to separate that negative 13x into the, these terms right here. So minus 6x minus 7x. Now we put in that vertical line. On each side of the vertical line, we are going to factor out the GCF. This side of the purple line, 3 is a common factor and an x. So we're going to factor out 3x out of both terms. When we do that, we're going to be left with, if we take 3x squared and factor out 3x, we're left with x minus, if I factor 6x, factor out of 3x, I'm left with 2. Okay, on the other side of the purple line, the first thing I would uh, like to remind you to do is this minus sign right here, we know we have to factor out a negative. So we're going to factor out a negative what? Negative 7. 7 is the common factor on the right-hand side of the parentheses. So 7, negative 7 is what we're going to factor out. If I take negative 7x and I factor out a negative 7, I'm left with a positive x. And if I, be careful here, have a positive 14 and I factor out a negative 7, what that means is positive 14 divided by negative 7, which is negative 2. So that positive has to change to a negative because I factor out the negative. Okay. Now, good news, right? If you look at this, you will see that we have x minus 2 in both sets of parentheses. That's great. They need to match. They will match if you do it right. So I'm going to write that matching value, x minus 2, matching factor there. And now remember what we're going to do is we're going to take this 3x that's left over here that's factored out. We're going to put that right here. So 3x. And then we're going to take this negative 7 that's left and we're going to put that there. So minus 7. And that is our factored form. Okay, so this video is about 14 minutes by now. So if you want to try this one on your own and then I'll just have the answer, go for it. If you want to watch those two examples again, that might not be a bad idea. Do what you need to do. Okay, 7x plus 1 times x minus 3.